Hello, my name is Alfredo, and today I'm going to talk about the Casal 642. And right now I'm using this model. This is the gray version of this frame. And I have like a very special place for this frame in my collection because it is not only super rare, but also uh, I have like a very special like experience with this model. The first Casal that I got was the Casal 642 but the, the reissue, this one, and as you can see is the black version and why, do I, why uh, do I say that I have a very special experience with, with this frame? Uh, because well not, it was not only my first Casal but also uh, it was the first one that I used uh, with my prescription glasses because I as I said before I need prescription glasses to see and when I finally got the frame uh, I sent it to my optician <laughs> and he was like uh, well it is it was a very funny experience because uh, when I took the the frame to this uh, to this person he was like very excited, he was like telling me like oh Alfredo how did you got this, this Casal, it is like a very special frame and I didn't, I, I re rarely see uh, Casal frames in my uh, in my store and well I, we keep talking about the Casal and they were looking, uh, well the owner, the, the, the one that I, that I know and his employees they were looking at the Casal like from every angle every angle possible and when well, they were uh, keep uh, asking me questions and uh, he was like very honest with me and he told me that Alfredo I, I really don't know if we can uh, put a prescription glass to, th to this frame because uh, it is a very large size and uh, well uh, the Kazan 642 the large size is really big and uh, he told me like well I will Put, I will I will put all my efforts with the lab so they can uh, make the prescription glass for you and uh, it, they took like three weeks almost a month to finally uh, have the materials to make the prescription glass and when I finally uh, receive or receive uh, again my my frame, I was very happy because I was only waiting to finally uh, use them in public. <laughs> and well, my first time that I used them was in the university. <laughs> well, it was a very funny experience because uh, all the persons, uh, all the people, keep looking at this at this frame, and you can f you can feel like the sight of the people that are watching you. Well, the frame. And I think this is a this is a very uh, general experience that everyone can share uh, if you use a casal, especially because casal is it is a very uh, special brand that you cannot uh, like forget or the first time that you look at them. And also, I think that uh, in general, well, talking here in Mexico. It is very very strange to see vintage frames like Sal or other brands because they were not like very well uh, recognized because all these uh, very uh, specific people, very uh, like rich people, only the like the very high classes could afford a Sal in those times and. Uh, well, it is also a brand that you cannot like, uh, uh, like you say, uh, forget, like I said before. And uh, in general, well, talking about Mexico, it is a, I will say that it, it is a very close uh, society and close talking about like in terms of design or something new because and the average Mexican it is like very conservative and well it is also like funny and strange because we can't 
uh, accept or <laughs> live with uh, certain designs like for example this that is a Katrina and as you can see what well, it is a, a skeleton and uh, this is like very normal but if you see like this it is something like strange <laughs> here in Mexico so it is like a kind of uh, how you say like funny thing to say and also I had like other experiences but I will say that the uh, young the younger uh, the young people young adults are more open to this kind of uh, who say models or the idea of vintage frames because uh, I remember one time that I went to the cinema with a, with my best with my best friend and I was ordering some popcorn and the employee was only like looking at me like like you know that she wants to have something and she finally asked me like oh where did you got like these a glasses because they are very cool and I told her and I told her like my uh, brief summary of how do uh, I enter all in all this of collecting vintage sunglasses and he was like very open and also one time in my university uh, I was going to the library and I only felt like someone, someone like making me this and I like uh, looked back and there was this person that he only told me like hey dude your a glasses are so cool uh, you have a very good taste and I was like oh, okay <laughs> so that, that has been like my experience so far with Casal but the first time that I used them uh, I was like uh, happy nervous because uh, you normally what well, if you use a glasses uh, you are like predisposed to use this uh, average frame that is uh, a small a square and when you finally decide to use vintage frames in general uh, well you have like, models similar to this one that are big so uh, you really need, I think that in, you really need to be like very uh, happy very uh, confident with all this because uh, I think that it requ requires sometimes uh, courage for example like using this because uh, it is not well, the average frame so if you really love like, vintage glasses you really don't mind like using them in public and uh, it is something that you want to share with almost everyone and the experience with my friends and my family well it, they have been like very open people with this and my friends in particular they tell me that hey you have like very cool uh, sunglasses and they ask me sometimes like questions about them and my family well <laughs> my family is another topic but they are also like very open to this in particular but uh, they really prefer that I use like the average frame but they understand well maybe not like 100 100 percent why do uh, I like this but they they accept that so I hope that you have liked this video and I wish uh, that you can also like share your passion of collecting vintage frames and if you have like a particular model that you want to talk about uh, just tell me and I will uh, put my effort to give you like uh, as a, some information about that so have a good day and just to finish the video I want to add that I have the frame in Germany it is not made in West Germany and I read uh, from Greg, Greg that uh, this model was made during the reunification of Germany and well I don't have the frame West Germany but this is the version that I have I have seen other frames that say West Germany and uh, well this is my version